if you love traveling with your fur baby, then I'm gonna show you how to avoid pet traveling disasters when you go stay at a hotel. From my experience as a hotel manager for almost four years now, I'm gonna give you these tips, so let's get started. We're so pretty girl. With more and more people traveling with their pets, it's easier than ever to find pet-friendly accommodations. In this video today, we're gonna to go over four essential steps that you should take to ensure that you're gonna have a great time traveling with your pet to hotels, including experiences that I've had firsthand. Then we'll go over what a service animal is in conjunction with the other hero animals out there. And we'll go over the three steps and sort of like laws that will help you in this area as well. Stick around to the end of the video today because I'm gonna be doing my first ever set of bloopers. So the first step that you wanna to take to ensure that you have a very smooth and wonderful stay at a hotel with your pet is you should expect to pay something for your dog, whether it's a deposit that you get back, a housekeeping fee, or just a regular nightly fee. Step two is that the size and the breed of your dog do matter. Hotels do have restrictions on the size limits of a dog that stays with them. A lot of cases they don't allow larger dogs, but some places do if you pay more. And also they may have restrictions on the breed of dog. Um, a lot of hotels may not allow a more muscular dog. So before I get to the most valuable step, step number three, I just wanna tell you about a time when I was working at the hotel and somebody decided to bring a pet. Well, this wasn't your regular everyday pet. They actually brought a pig to stay with them and we did not deny them that opportunity. So they had a, a pig come and stay and actually it was cleaner than most pets and I really didn't ever see it outside the room walking around. Step number three is to call a hotel, let them know that you wanna bring your pet, tell them a little bit about your dog and let them know how big your dog is, what kind of dog you have, if you traveled with your dog before, and just ask them if there's anywhere special that they want you to walk your pet, and if there's any pet-friendly restaurants nearby that you'd be able to visit while you're staying with them. Step three is the most valuable tip because contacting the hotel is super important the hotel will very much appreciate it and everything will be a lot more smooth as far as checking in. They'll already have the information that they need. There won't be any hiccups. It'll be smooth sailing. Before step number four, if you are a frequent hotel traveler or if you ever book a hotel for any reason, I do have a free workshop that's launching soon that is designed to help you save a lot of money and save a lot of confusion during the hotel reservation process. I want you to be one of the first ones to see it and it's absolutely free. So you can sign up below if you wanna do that. Okay, so step number four actually has to do with while you stay at the hotel and that is to clean up after your pet, sweep the room, definitely leave the housekeeper a tip. She will so much appreciate it because after anyone stays with a pet, there is gonna be additional cleaning just to ensure that anybody who may have allergies that's coming behind them doesn't have any kind of an issue. You can even ask the hotel staff if they have an extra sheet that you could put over the bed if your dog likes to jump up on the bed with you or put it over the couch just so you don't have any messes or damages that you may have to pay for later. And if your dog does destroy something because it happens, you know, it, it does, just tell the hotel staff. They'll appreciate that and they will guide you in the direction of what you need to do next, if anything. But uh, it's better than checking out and then finding some kind of a high fee on your credit card later because they charged you for the damage that you made. We will soon get to those bloopers at the end of the video, but first I want to quickly hit on what it means to be traveling with a service animal. Now our hero animals I classify as service animals, therapy dogs, and emotional support animals. Now the service animals are extra special because they can typically go anywhere without the owner having, without you having to pay any extra fees and, um, and you really have access to a lot of different places. Hotels are one of them and you don't even have to show any ID, you just have to let them know that you are traveling specifically with a service animal, not just a pet. It's a service animal. Those are the keywords that you want to use when you book your hotel. But check your laws because every state is different. This is true for the state of Florida where I work, and I believe it's true for many other states as well. The other two types of hero animals, the emotional support animal and the therapy dog, hotels can still charge just as they would a regular pet. This is uh, completely separate from the service animal. So you want to really do a little research and know your laws before you go ahead and use these buzzwords for the types of pets that you're traveling with. 
If you love to travel with your pets, I would love for you to comment down below and tell me some of the places that you have visited with your pets. Did anything unexpected happen? Tell me below. All right, we have the bloopers coming up next. So if you enjoyed this video today, you can subscribe to my channel. I come out with one new video every Thursday that is designed to help you save time, help you save energy and stress when you are booking a hotel. And it also has the potential to save you tons of money as well. Thank you. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna pop ability. <laughs> okay, let's just start that again. <laughs> Hey, that's a real thing. It's a real thing, guys. Are you gonna go get that kitty cat? Are you gonna go get that kitty cat? And a side shot. Yeah, see, that's kind of weird. I got take take seven thousand. Up, 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 up. Sit. No, I don't want to sit. Sit. So come on, you gotta look at the camera. That dog is gonna kill me. Shut up, dog. Shut up. And um, that, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I hope these tips were very helpful today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and God bless.